I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inverse functions, trigonometric inverse functions. While this is a complicated topic, we will try to understand the steps while moving forward. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting questions. I am actually sharing one of these questions from Mr. Kohli, who is our subscriber. Thank you, Mr. Kohli, for sharing the question and I hope the solution provided here will help many others. So let's look into it. Write the following functions in the simplest form using substitution. We have tan inverse of x over square root a square minus x square where absolute value of x is less than a, right? That means x is between minus a and plus a. Second one is seemingly similar which says, uh, it should be greater than 1. Okay. Cot inverse 1 over x square minus 1, where absolute value of x should be greater than 1. Since, you know, within the square root, it has to be a positive number, right? So that's the whole idea. Now, let's see what kind of substitutions can we make. When we have tan inverse or something, if I get tan inside, then tan inverse of tan will just give us the angle, right? So that's the whole idea. Second, we have a square minus x square within square root. So you remember something like uh, constant 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, 1 minus sine square x is cos square x. So that reminds us for a substitution. So a good substitution for tan function in such a case will be a sine x sine theta, right? So for x, we'll put a sine theta, correct? So that will help us. Let's see how it helps. Now, the question turns out to be tan inverse of, instead of x, I'm writing a sine theta. And the denominator, we have square root of a square minus a square sine square theta. Perfect. Within the square root. Now, I could write this as tan inverse of, numerator remains as a sine theta. However, the denominator, we can take a square common, we get 1 minus sine square theta. Correct. So that gives you what? That gives you tan inverse of a sine theta in the numerator. Here, a can be taken out. So you get a here. And 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. Correct. So that means I could write this as cos theta. Is that clear? Now, a and a cancel. So we get tan inverse of tan theta. Clear? So tan inverse of tan theta is going to give me the angle theta itself. Right? So since we get the angle theta as our answer, then what is this theta is going to be? Right? So we have substituted x equals to a sine theta. Right? So we get this as what? So now we can actually write sine theta is x over a, right? So this is all just equals to theta. So now from here, we could actually write, let's go back to our substitution. We have to see what theta is, right? So we had, let me go back to the substitution, right? We'll get back to the ink, which you started with, a sine theta. Now I need to find what this theta is. Theta is x over a is sine theta, correct? And that implies that theta is equals to sine inverse of x over a. Correct? Therefore, the answer for this question or simplified form of this is indeed equal to sine inverse of x over a. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to solve such questions. Perfect. Now, I would like you to pause the video, try the second question yourself, and then look into my suggestions, correct? Now, here we want cot. 
I could get caught if I have 1 over 10. Now that reminds you what x could be. So you remember the formula 1 plus 10 square theta equals to secant square theta or you would also write secant square theta minus 1 as tan square theta, right? Or you could write secant square theta, let me write down here, secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. So that is the strategy, right? You can see this. That means I should substitute x as equal to what? Well, I could substitute this x as secant square theta, I mean secant theta, right? So we get this as uh, secant theta. So x is secant theta now for us. So let's make this substitution. So what we could write this as cot inverse of 1 over square root of secant square theta minus 1. Correct? Now, so we get cot inverse of 1 over what? Secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta, right? Which is square root of tan square theta. Now that is 1 over tan theta, right? So we get cot inverse of 1 over tan theta, which is same as cot inverse of cotangent theta, which is same as theta. So we again get our result, which is theta. Now what is theta for you? Now get back to the substitution, which is x equals to secant theta. So from here, you know theta is equals to secant inverse of x. So that is your answer. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to solve all our questions related to inverse of trigonometric functions. Correct? So let me just push this a bit. We finally get our answer as secant inverse x as the simplified form of the given expression. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Share my free videos with your friends. Thank you, and all the best.